So I've heard that heat pumps don't work in cold climates. Is that true? Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. So heat pumps historically have not performed well in cold climates. And it has to do, so we talked a second ago about the refrigeration process. Right. The heart of the refrigeration process, there's a compressor inside, mm -hmm. right? And that compressor will run and run and run as long as its operating parameters are where they want to be in the normal range. Mm -hmm. What happens with a heat pump when it gets cold outside is those conditions change. So the inlet pressure of a compressor is driven by the outside temperature because okay. of how much refrigerant you can convert, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. So when it gets cold outside, the inlet refrigerant pressure drops and that all of a sudden when you're compressing, mm -hmm. causes a lot more heat and a lot more pressure and you can actually destroy the compressor. Okay. So what do manufacturers prevent, do to prevent their compressors from being destroyed? They turn them off. Okay. So, okay, now there's a problem with using heat pumps in cold climates. What's unique about this particular heat pump is it does really well in cold climates. So how does it do that? Well, number one, it's got a variable speed compressor inside of it. Okay. So almost infinite control of the capacity of heating and cooling. Mm -hmm. Number two is it's got a very intelligent microprocessor controller in it to control all that infinite capability of um, speed. Mm -hmm. Then finally, it's got a different piping arrangement than most, than all mm -hmm. uh, heat pumps in that it allows it to continue to operate even when the temperature gets cold, number one, and number two, still continue to put a high amount of heat outside. Now there's physics, mm -hmm. it doesn't produce as much heat when it's really, really cold outside as when it's 40 degrees outside. We all know that. Right. But it's a manageable level where a little bit of backup heat can take care of those polar vortex days where it gets to be minus 25 or whatever it turns out to be. Right. Yeah. Okay.